Cheers from Sweden and welcome to my channel here on YouTube. I mostly do videos about Samsung tech, like their tablets and laptops. And if you're into that, please subscribe for more content like this. So, I did a video about a week ago when I saw that Multicontrol was released from Samsung. But I could not get it to work for more than just a few minutes. And some days it did not work at all. I could see my tablet on the linked devices in the Samsung settings app, but nothing more happened. Then I saw a video from Tech Raider, linked in the description by the way. The tip was to fiddle around with the settings on the network adapter. That almost worked for me. I could connect a few times, but not every time. Then I disabled the IPv6 in my router, and that did the trick for me. I can now connect whenever I want. But, what can you do once you have a multi-control up and running? Well, to be honest, not so much for the moment. You can use the trackpad on your laptop to open and apps on your tablet, and use the keyboard to type in documents, and uh, you can drag and drop files. Things that don't work is gestures when using your laptop. So you will have some difficulties to close apps, go back and forth in apps and so on. If you ask me, this is something that needs to be enabled in the next update. You can make it work with some workarounds, but well, the user experience isn't that great right now. But at least it's a start. One thing that doesn't work at all, as far as I know, is to use the keyboard and mouse connected to a tablet to control your laptop. And if you want to drag and drop files, make sure they are downloaded on your tablet. It doesn't work with a file that is in the cloud. With a little bit of luck, the Samsung keyboard cover will arrive this week and I'll check if the keyboard connect to your tablet and control your laptop thing will work then. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, bye.